All right, so let's just get our very first story for tonight. And I talked about it earlier when we're talking about the banking industry. Now, the Euro Business Assembly, that's the EBA, has conferred on the CEO of Unibank, Felix Nyakopong, the Manager of the Year Award 2015. Now, he picked this award in the United Kingdom. He's back in the country, and GH1 is officially the station that he's going to speak to very first. Now, Felix Nyakopong has therefore been awarded full membership into the the International Leaders Club. Now, it was not Felix Nyakopon alone, but Unibank itself also picked up an award. They received the Best Enterprise Award for 2015 for its strong position on the national market and its status in international ratings. Manager of the Year Award for Felix Nyakopon was in recognition for his sterling leadership of the bank in the past five years. Felix Nyakopon has led the bank to grow from its 16th position out of the 26 banks that was in 2011 to the fifth out of the current 29 banks. So currently, Unibank is the fifth best bank in the country out of 29 banks in the country in terms of its balance of sheets. So Unibank currently pegged at fifth position and they've picked up an award from the UK because of the sterling performance they've put out. Unibank also occupies the enviable 27th position in the top 100 companies that constitute Ghana's Club 100. Maybe for 2015, are we going to see the bank even climb um, further on the list of uh, best companies in the country? Tonight, the CEO will be sharing every bit of the details with us. First of all, let me run you by some information that I chanced on. Now, the banking sector saw a drop of about 5.4 percent. That's for year 2015. So, what were the main challenges? Tonight, I'd want to get some of these details and highlights with Felix Nyakopon. Felix is the CEO of Unibank. Many thanks for joining us in the studio. We're grateful having you here. Thank you, Gregor. And congratulations for all the awards you picked up in the UK. I'll be highlighting on them in a short while. Thank you again. But let me just quickly uh, come to you, Felix. Now, you have been a seasoned a banker, uh, moving the bank um, into greater heights. Let me first of all find out, for the sake of my viewers, how did you get into banking? Oh, I should say that I got into banking at Kweku by, by accident. I'd Whoa. always wanted You didn't to, plan it? No, no, no. I'd always wanted to study and become a, a lawyer. But one day at a faculty of law and a transfer to the business school and an interest in banking, and I have never looked back. Mm. The lawyer <laughs> become banker. They didn't nearly. <laughs> Let me just quickly move on to... Um, at least the story I touched on a short while ago. Now, did you foresee this coming, 2015? Uh, I asked my friends who are in the banking sector and they tell me it was an extreme difficult year for the financial sector. Uh, did you anticipate that the uh, banking industry in general was going to see that dip? Uh, up to a point, yes. Ghana is not out of the global uh, village mm. and many of the happenings there also befalls us. And primarily, the state of the banking uh, system as we see it today it, it is caused by the economic downturn. Wow. The economic downturn arising out of our financing gap due to the oil uh, price shortfalls. Mm. Indeed, we also have our own peculiarities in terms of the higher inflation numbers at 19.2 now. We have had the constant depreciation of the CD, and all of these have impacted not too well on the businesses that we, the banks, serve. And uh, as the banking uh, sort of uh, system, we reflect the businesses and the economy. Mm. So generally, we had anticipated these, because if the businesses are not doing that good, then even those that you have planned to take a lot of deposit from, there will be short forms, and also those that you have given uh, financing to, uh, you would then anticipate some delays and the money is coming back to you. Um, not talking about your bank, but would you say uh, there is some level of uh, default uh, in loans? People pick loans in the country and it's quite difficult for them to pay. Some of them just bolt. Uh, there are defaults in loans er everywhere. It's an occupational <laughs> hazard in banking. Um, but when the country is faced with challenges, okay. then there is a lot of what we call settlement risk. 
businesses may have promised to give you the money back today and perhaps they will delay to a week or two uh, as they rebalance their books. But overall, given the good fundamentals of the economy, we anticipated that there will be reversals if right decisions are made at all levels. Now, I've been doing my research on, um, from the state of affairs background, and I know uh, I followed Unibank closely, and I can tell for a fact that uh, while people look at the major, major financing, uh, yes, you do major financing to the big institutions, but you would also uh, look at the SME sector. So around these difficult times, who would want to finance the SME sector? What kind of strategy is that? And who else but yours truly, Unibank. Uh, as Unibank will want to that We have been focused on our, our, our mission. And hmm. uh, our chosen segment has always been the SME. And we have grown expertise there. And but have. most banks will shy away from the SME. So why would you want to go? Oh, I think as a bank or any institution, you should shy away from anything that you don't have the competence in managing the risks arising there from. Do you? And yes, reasonably so, to the extent that the economy allows it. We do. We, we have trained a lot. We understand we are a Ghanaian bank. We understand the Ghanaian businesses. And we don't just look at the purpose they present. Uh, we do in-depth decomposition analysis of them, with them. And uh, so far, it's been paying good dividends. Mm. Supporting the SME sector yes. is supporting you while others are um, seeing that major setback, you're saying Unibank is, is still doing great, supporting the SME yeah. sector. It doesn't make the sector any less uh, risky. It, it is risky, but generally, look at Ghana. If you take the multinationals out, mm -hmm. almost all the companies are SMEs. So I, I, I just want to reiterate that uh, we may not be the only financial institution also deeply involved with the businesses mm. because largely the businesses in the country are, are SMEs. And, but we do so on a more focused basis. Mm. Uh, Let me come to an interesting area. Um, quite recently, I also read Star FM online and other portals. Indeed, um, uh, that online service did break the news that indeed Unibank had picked an, an award. Reading about it, uh, Europe. Euro Business Assembly, that's the EBA, awarded Unibank and it went ahead to award you. Maybe first of all, let me talk about uh, Unibank being awarded. Tell me about it. Which area did, how did the bank shine amongst all the banks that were selected? The Euro Business Assembly uh, awarded Unibank as the enterprise, the business enterprise uh, of the region and mm. financial sector. And they did so on their own uh, merits and analysis, more focused on our growth pattern. They also laid emphasis, and the, the citation said so, on how despite all the downturns in, in, in economic fortunes, we have remained committed to the SME sector. Mm. And they also laid a lot of emphasis in singling us out as a business that does not only look out for profits, but also invest on, in terms of the, uh, socially significantly in, in the communities. Are you, are you that carrying work. any um, investments, social investments, giving back to society? Or oh, they just had to confer this on you. I'm sorry to ask. We are. It's a straight question. What have you done? And I say yes, and a big yes. Uh, we have provided Kolibu with an ultra molding two and a half million CD maternity blocks, second floor, mm. ultra molding European standards. Of course, as we all know, we're the proud sponsor of the national team and we have sponsored them significantly, $1.2 million. We continue to do so. As we speak now, we are in league with Operation Smile, a group of international doctors who mm. we have sponsored this year to ensure that the cleft lips our uh, colleagues with the deformed yeah, lips deformity. I've seen that. that they can smile and so far they have had surgery on 154 patients in whole and, and we're still accounting and uh, this is just to mention a few because if we go to the educational sector 
through a PPP. We have put up a three floor story building for Gimpa. Wow. And we've also donated so many vehicles and such like. All right, so we can confidently say that Unibank is not only taking from society, but you're giving back to society. It brings me to the question where I wonder, so the future of Unibank, you're an indigenous bank, you intend to stay in an indigenous bank, you intend supporting the local sector alone, you, you, you only want to be here. Am I to believe that you're going elsewhere in the near future? Uh, yes, we intend to, but we're not going uh, elsewhere, either internationally or locally, because it is good to do so. We're trying to give our customers end-to-end -end service, and that end-to-end -end service, giving the many import businesses within the SME, requires us perhaps to have a ramp office in Dubai, in London, and we will happily do so, but we'll do more than that. Because also locally... I, I didn't get that well. You're going to have a rep office uh, in Dubai, such that business officials who, who would have to go in, uh, into Dubai, who would have to do um, businesses there who are with you or are dealing with your bank and easily get services there. Is that what you said? Certainly so. We in the, aim in the to United do that. Kingdom we as well. We aim to do that. Then you're going international. Well, to that extent, not to the extent of wanting to be a global player but making sure that our, our customer is able to weather the storm and have ease of operations and, and financial services. Before I come into the banking sector, I would want you to spend probably uh, five or so minutes uh, in explaining uh, this particular issue where you were also conferred as the CEO of the year. I mean, what were the merits they looked at? Oh, the, the manager of the year. Yeah. They did look manager at year, uh, what, a lot of things. Uh, they looked at the great work the good team at Unibank, uh, the board and the management have done. They looked at how we have stayed through to our vision and how our institution has been transformed, giving us it word that we are also a wholly Guinean uh, business. So this and brings a lot uh, of pride. Yes. They compared you to um, other um, um, countries, uh, uh, nominees from not only Ghana or something? No, they were global awards. And uh, so it's, it's I'm a happy global that for, for, for this sector, they chose not only myself, but Univac. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and it's a success. I, I, I share with the good team that I have uh, and, and the board helping in setting the agenda. And, and of course, the very many committed staff that we have. There's a man who mentioned the team as part of being, uh, as being part of the success. But let me look at the banking industry for uh, a while before I move on. Now, I dare say that the conglomerates, the big mm -hmm. banks, those with um, affiliates all over the world, are preparing to swallow you off. How is the future like for uh, the indigenous banks when you look at it, especially against the backdrop of our oil and gas sector? No, I, 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 I do not believe that that is going to happen. Uh, been around for quite a bit. I rather think that the big players are, are going to run back uh, like uh, some have started because the cost of regulatory compliance in, in being the, such the a... big banks are going to move out and make way for you. The indigenous that banks. can happen. That could happen. It's not going to happen overnight, but that rather could be the move. Mm. Could, could be the move, uh, especially with the very, very, very big ones. Uh, Ghana is a big country, and uh, non-bank okay, public alone is over fifty percent. So, so long as you have good strategies, there, there is room, and we will continue to be. Bearing in mind, as a bank, you don't have to be everything to everyone. You've mm. got to have your niche customer, the one you're dedicated to serving and serving well. Felix Nyakopo, you have confidence in yourself that, yes, my team, my bank, the Ghanaian banks are going to uh, really weave through and be able to outdo uh, some of these foreign banks that you see. reason why you say the conglomerates, we should not worry. But let me come to another um, point where we're, we're, we're looking at the industry in general. Today, um, if the central bank is going to decide to license more indigenous banks, would you call it a good advice? Would you say the banking sector is choked? The banking sector is not choked at all. There is still more work to be done. 
I have already alluded to the more than 50% we have to ensure some form of financial uh, inclusion. Over 29 banks? Yes. I mean, uh, chasing the same funds? If you go to the United States and many other countries, there are many, many more. And most exist on a regional basis, serving regional clientele. Mm. And to the extent that banks will pick their niche customers and focus their own, I think it is positive. What regulatorily we should ensure is uh, not to encourage everyone coming from anywhere just to establish in the capital, just to establish other places that uh, time and pain uh, have already been taken in ensuring some banking culture. But in making sure that whoever comes in also have a total national spread footprint agenda mm. to help us focus on our, our development. Uh, and we need to encourage locals to do so if only to retain resources and capital. We have to focus on that. Tonight we've done a lot of tweets ahead of the program and it's quite interesting some responses we got now. When some people from Okuman got to know that you come in here, they just got in touch and said, look, quick, that's our man. He's a man we honored. So touch on him. Hey, what's that relation with you and Okuman? Well, I guess it's because I'm a cool man. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shop in Abosu uh, Kai already? First and foremost, unfortunately, I don't have an anchor with a shop, so I ended up in a bank. <laughs> All but, right. But more than that, yes, the uh, Okoma honored me during the Easter. I wasn't All alone. Right. They honored many prominent citizens. But it isn't because I'm the CEO of a bank, but more towards humanitarian things that we've done in you the do. area, okay. more towards how... Uh, we have, or I have personally, together with the other recipients, given back to our roots. Mm. And uh, we encourage all to do so. And I'm very happy that my mother's contribution uh, to Ukwa is noted and recognized. We're very thrilled that tonight you're over here with us on State of Affairs and we're looking at the banking industry. But just before we go, there's a man out there who enjoys uh, watching this program who is going to look up to us. Well, we just want you to uh, advise that person within 30 seconds. If you want to be good at what you do, if you want to be seasoned, what advice would you give to that person? Uh, if you want to be a good citizen banker, I would say uh, stay focused, stay mm. sharp, keep your nose clean, and mm. whatever you do, make sure you have prayers and a godly life he believes as a prime motive. He believes in his maker, <laughs> Felix Nyakopo. Many thanks for joining us on State of Affairs on GH1. We're grateful having you and we celebrate you indeed, the manager of the year, and also celebrate Unibank for picking that award. Well, just shortly, you need to be updated, so we're giving you that quick facts.